hello. Um, so recently I put up a post on Reddit um, about how I got Sims 2 running on my phone. Um, and a lot of people wanted to know how to do it. So uh, this is just a quick and dirty tutorial um, on how to do this. Um, I'm having to record it this way because I've got no other way to record it. Um, so yeah, sorry about this setup is what it is. Um, yeah, uh, before we get into this, uh, I do just want to say that <laughs> if you're going to do this, this uh, after you've sorted this, you're going to have to want to sort out your um, your gallery, because you, you, it's just going to end up full of this. It just extracts all the images from the game. To be fair, I think I, mine, I had to install the game like three times, so I think it happened like three times with me, but yeah, um, beware of this. You're gonna have to sort this afterwards, but with that out of the way, <laughs> if if you're cool with that, then uh, you're gonna want a couple, a few different things. One is obviously the game, and two is something to, uh, like an app to install the game and run it. Um, so for the game, uh, if you go to Google and just look up um, Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, I'm sure somewhere. You will find um, somewhere to get the game, um, and if you don't, I'm sh gonna show you how to do all of this from your phone. So if you're downloading it online, you're probably gonna want to download it as a torrent so that it's more stable. So you're gonna want something like uh, if you go to your Play Store, type in BitTorrent, something like BitTorrent, so that you can download torrent files. Um, just open it up and get access to whatever it wants, I suppose, or don't, I, I don't care, um, and then, yeah, start the download through the torrent, once it's downloaded, uh, if you go to your files, um, so go to internal storage, downloads, you will have it downloaded in here somewhere, it should just be like the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, this is the wrong one, um, for me, it's this Sims 2 install. Uh, and then it's there, the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection. So if I just click on this, you should have Game Files, Redis, Instructions. Ignore those two, because we don't need those two. We just need the Game Files. So in here, we've got set up EXE, but obviously we can't run EXEs because we're on an Android. That's where this app comes in handy. Um, you're going to need the specific version that I have. With the specific setup and everything. Normally you have to go onto a Discord group, which is the Exagear. If you want to find the Discord group for whatever reference, um, Google Exagear International uh, Discord. It, you should find a link for it. Um, yeah. You have to go to the Discord link, find the specific version, follow the link to a Telegram group, which then gives you a download for this. That's all really annoying and yeah. So I've uploaded the specific one that you want into a Google Drive. Just download it in the description um, to save you a headache. You're welcome. Um, once you've downloaded it, you want to go to your files. Um, that might have needed extracting, by the way. If it needed extracting, just extract it. Uh, the Sims, I mean. Um, and then this... This is what you will have downloaded, Multiwine V7.5 plus XEGW 2.2 underscore all mod. Yours won't have the uh, zero at the end of that, it's just because I downloaded the file like three times by accident when I first did this. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to download that, that'll be zipped, so you're going to want to unpack that wherever. Um, yeah, you're going to want to unpack that wherever. Um, and then once you open it up, you should have an OBB file and this other folder with three APKs in. You want to install the APK that's grey. Um, so yeah, install that APK. And then you'll have this. Run it, but when you run it, it won't do this like mine did. It'll fail. And it'll say that it doesn't have an OBB file. Um, so that's fine. Back out of it. I'll just press the home button. Um, then you want to come up to your files again, um, go back till you can find, um, like either the multi-wine or whatever, if you're already in here, great, 
what you want though is this .obb file. So you're going to hold on that. And then obviously at the bottom you've got move. Or you might have to bring up more and then move. Or you can just copy it and paste it in another folder. I prefer to just move it because I know it's actually done it then. Um, so with that selected on move. I'm not actually going to move this by the way because I don't want to mess up mine. But we're going to go back, keep going back, or just click that home icon there. Um, go back to internal storage, basically. Go to Android, and this OBB. And then in here, you should see com.lidashi.benchmark. You want to open that and then move here. Once you've moved it there, if you didn't already close down Exagear, open up your apps. Close down Exagear. Open it up again. And instead of just starting up and being like, bam, done, um, it'll start to unpack the file uh, and set up the app, all the background stuff. That's perfect. That's fine. Um, and then, again, everything should be blank. Um, or you might have a couple of things. Uh, you might have a few things asking for permissions and whatnot. Just out of gear permissions, get to this screen. Basically, just press OK on everything, whatever. Till you're here. You won't have anything here though. Like you won't have sims or anything. And you won't have these TFM files. Um, to set them up. You're going to want to go up to manage containers. Plus, press this plus icon. And it's going to start creating a new container. Now I've got this wine 7.7 .7 underscore 4. If I click on these three dots here. Go to settings. Um, the resolution, just leave that. Color depth should be 32-bit. If it's not, make it 32-bit. Render it, should be turnip. DXVK, DRI free. If it's not, just press on that. Select that one. Okay. Controls. I like to have my controls on touchpad, but if I was you, I would go through and try a load of different ones. See, how, see which ones you want. Uh, or see which one you like most. Um, with that all done, that's, that's that. Uh, go back out of there. Uh, this is probably going to be a little bit confusing, but just ignore these top three because I just made this underscore four. Um, so now that I've done that, I can just run. Um, and what this is doing, if to move the mouse with this touchpad layout that I have set up, you just drag your thumb across the screen to move the mouse and then double tap to, yeah, uh, just install. What, uh, wine as it's telling you to um, I'm not actually too sure what this is as far as I understand it it's like Linux it's like a version of Linux that allows you to run exe files basically um, so yeah just let that install and it's just configuring now Give it a second, and as you can see, it looks like Windows 95 on your phone, which is amazing. Welcome to the future. Uh, go to start. Go to install. Uh, I'm just doing this really quick just to show you everything you need to get Sims up and running, by the way. So if we go over DirectX, it says current, not installed. You want to press install. Cool. Go to install. DXVK, and we want to go to DXVK 2.2, select that, it's installing, this one should take a little longer, sorry for my sniffling by the way, uh, yep, that's all good, that's that set up, so now if we look at these folders, that's everything we need to get the game running by the way, um, if we go to F, Double press on here, or just press here. I've noticed it's easier to just access it from there. Um, this is your downloads folder on your phone. So you want to go to where you downloaded and unzipped Sims, if you had to unzip it. I I connected my phone to a PC and did it that way. You can do it that way if you prefer moving files around that way. It is up to you. You can just do it all off your phone if you don't have access to a PC. though. Um, so I'm just going to go to my Sims to install. Double tap my screen with my cursor on there it's pretty intuitive it's just like using a computer and you just want to go into the game files and everything and find that setup exe and now i'm just going to double press that 
give it a second. Obviously, you're running off a phone, so it's going to have a little bit of lag to it. Um, that's if it did, actually. Yeah, it's running now. And as you can hear... Sorry if that's too loud. Uh, then you just go up, press install. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. I don't want to mess with it. Um, so, yeah, once you press install, that's, that's that. Um, after that, you should have um, some desktop icons come up here. Um, now, I'm going to have to change container because I haven't got it installed on this one. Um, if yours crashes or anything or you need to restart the app for whatever reason, bring up your apps and then in this top corner active in background oh wrong one the active in background bit here just select that and then stop it for extra gear and anything else if you need to so yeah that's that and then if i go back to extra gear open up extra gear again it's going to restart it um i have sims installed on this one uh as you can see it says sims 2 there uh, i just renamed it that so i know um if you're accessing it from the desktop, you're just going to press it once and then just go on the top one. Open it up. Um, don't access it from... Uh, no, Got to be quick. Phone's going to... The recording's going to stop. Don't access it from here because it's just not going to work. Uh, or at least it doesn't for me. So just load up your container that has Sims installed on it. And that you installed everything else on. That's all good. And then I'm just going to... I don't know why my programs aren't showing up. Hmm. There's different things you can do, by the way. Um, why is that not showing up? It's okay, it doesn't matter either way. I can just go into my C drive. Program files. This is just where Sims installs too. And because it's the ultimate collection, you need to go on the mansions and garden expansions, go to TS bin, and run the Sims 2 EP9.exe. Otherwise, what you can do is normally down here, there's a start menu. It's starting to load now, but they'll have the start menu down here. Go to that, go to program, and go through all the drop downs and everything. You should find Sims 2, and there'll be Body Shop on there as well. Just launch it from there, or launch it from the file that it's installed to and then there you go you have sims installed um the only issue i have with this is my keyboard look these keys at the side are temperamental sometimes they work sometimes they don't sometimes my keyboard doesn't work so obviously that caused an issue with naming things um i have had it set up where it worked fine but i don't know what the difference was um maybe if you join the discord server i'm asking questions on there a lot at the minute maybe you can get an answer because I'm not getting much at the minute. But yeah, that's that's everything. If you need any help with anything, uh, just comment below and I'll try and help out. Sorry for how quick and day this tutorial is. Like I say, if I didn't do it now, I wouldn't know when I'd be able to do it. So yeah, hope this all helps. Um,